It's Monday, February 11th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. What are you communicating? Honestly, every day of your life, you're communicating something to people around you. And if people around you were asked to describe you, they would have something to say. How would they describe you? Pessimistic? Optimistic? Moody? Cheerful? They might describe the way you look. Preppy? Heavy metal? Business? They might describe the way that you react to other people. Outgoing? Insecure? Keeps to themselves? They could they could describe your your uh, your body features. They could describe describe your hair color. They could describe your eye color. They could do a lot of things. But you communicate something to everybody around you that they see. What are you communicating? Well, when we think of communication, probably the first thing you think of is Facebook. It's what people use these days to communicate the most. What do you communicate there? And you know. <clears throat> Every time you communicate something on Facebook, you put it out there for the masses. And it's always there. Every time you put a picture out, it's always there somewhere on the web. Don't get rid of it. I found that out so many times in my life. And you know, all of those things that I did even 30 years ago, and of course the web wasn't around then, but people reach back into pictures and articles and whatever. Some of the things I wish could be buried are still there, still floating around. That's the problem, isn't it? And so sometimes when you communicate something, it stays. What do you communicate to your friends? Do they enjoy your friendship? Do they see you as a difficult friend or an encouraging friend? What do you communicate on your arms or your face or, you know, whatever tattoos you know are you satisfied with the communication that you have do you want to communicate that message for the rest of your life I waited a very long time to get all of my tattoos because I wanted to tell my stories so it's not a fad it's not gonna go out of style I'm always gonna have those stories but what are you communicating You see, folks, the reason I'm asking this today is because we don't think very much about this. And we especially don't think very much about it when we're younger. But when you get a little older, I used to hate when people said that to me. But here I am saying it. When you get a little older, you'll think more about that. What have I communicated? What do people know about me that I want them to know and that I'd rather they didn't know? What have I communicated in the past without really thinking much about it that I wished I wouldn't have communicated and it's caused me some pain? So here's a couple things I want you to think about. First of all, what are you communicating and do you think those things that you are communicating are honestly things that you want people to know today, next week, next year, 10 years, 25, 50 years from now? Yes, it's true. They get, they will. And secondly, are you communicating things that are honestly from your heart? Do they honestly represent you? Now, those are things to think about. And I hope you'll consider your communication today. What are you communicating? God bless you. Have a great day.